Good evening, members of Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. How's everybody doing this evening? I hope everybody's doing great. I'm uh, showing you all my, my corner displays that I got there of my minerals. They're pretty good sized cases with several minerals in them. And I have a lot more. As you can see, I got some boxes there that I haven't even opened up. I'm thinking about buying another display case, if, you know, God, God willing. Uh, I'm just making this quick video. I won't face the camera my 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 direction. I'm just gonna show y'all my collection and my minerals. There's a the night display, the night light that I have. I have so many minerals on top of there, skulls. Dragons, more minerals, spheres, uh, geodes, smoky quartz, spheres. That's uh, one of the displays that I got there. Like I said it's full of minerals, man. It's kind of overcrowded, you could say, with minerals. Uh, the dragon over there in the back, a lady had blessed me with it. It's like a little scepter. Uh, like I said, I'm just showing off on my little display right now. You know, uh, here's another one here. Center centerpiece has got all kinds of spheres and towers. See the spheres and towers in there. And then down here, some more spheres, some more towers, uh, all kinds of minerals. I have so many. And it keeps on going, y'all. More geodes, minerals, towers, spheres. Down here, also, uh, more min geodes, 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 minerals, and way down here. Big ones, big minerals. Up here, I got some uh, dream catchers. Some uh, more dream catchers. I got the ho-ho thing up in there. And then on this one, more minerals. I got a lot of minerals here that have rainbows in them. A lot of specimens, like I said, it's kind of cluttered because I'm trying to make room for when uh, I buy another cabinets to, to display more minerals. Minerals, towers, geodes. Down here, more minerals. Uh, Orca, spheres, and more minerals in the very bottom. Geodes, labradorite. This is like the shiny one. It's got all the bling bling in here. Some nice, nice minerals, some fluorites, some mica, some uh, all different kind of minerals there, y'all. For whoever likes minerals, how you doing, Sister Gloria? So this my where I have my peace and tranquility. Uh, yeah, I have I have minerals that light up, cousin. You see up there? There's a sphere, uh, a white clear sphere. I don't know if you can see the rainbows, but it's got rainbows in, all in it. It's towards the purple amethyst. This is where I got uh, the sphere. But I'm just showing y'all, displaying my minerals for y'all, where we're serving. Uh, but yeah, I got I got a lot of them. It's my 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 second living room here, where I have them on display at the very entrance. I'm just gonna back up so y'all can see. Uh, you can see uh, I have boxes that haven't been opened up, and I've been trying to. Trying to help people about ordering stuff from them, but I'm going to take a break 
after this orders that I that I did, and I'm gonna start. Uh, like I said, I think I have enough already, so I'm gonna take a break from uh, ordering any more stuff or buying any more stuff. Uh, I need to. Piedra de Rayo. Uh, I don't know which one that is, cousin. If it's got a certain name for it. All I know is I got a lot of minerals there, a lot of specimens. Piedra de Rayo. Uh, you have to say it in English. I mean, uh, lightning stones. Uh, yeah, well, you know, they say that uh, there's minerals. If they have rainbows in them, is it they got hit by lightning? Uh, so somewhere in time they got hit by lightning. That's how the rainbows got trapped in there. So they're like up here, they have a lot of minerals that have rainbows in them. Uh, so, but I was just uh, showing y'all, you know, for for those that, to follow here on spiritual encrypted encounters. Yeah, I have some of those cousins that. that uh, I have some uh, some uh, specimens that were left from uh, meteor meteor uh, strikes, and I have some that were left from when the volcano erupts and it lands. I have some of those also. But this is my specimens. This is my yeah. I think I, I have a lot already, and I need to stop collecting. You know, not overdo it. But I have so many. Uh, like I said, that's that's my little corner there, where I have my my peace and tranquility, and I have a lot of specimens. So I need to buy me some more, like at least two more out of these cabinets, to put in the corners of this living room. Uh, but yeah, I have all kinds of spheres and uh, selenites. There's a selenite sphere right there. I got a moss agate. This is moss agate. Ocean jasper, uh, uh, I got smokies, <laughs> mica, that's mica, I got uh, pyrite, I got uh, minerals with rutile in them, uh, agate, there's an agate heart right here in the corner, you see it? I got so many guys, so many of y'all, uh, but I'm going to face, face it backwards now. So y'all can see see me here. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, taking a little break from from making videos. You know, uh, of you know, there's a point where you have to take a break because you don't want to cross the boundary too much spiritually of what's out there spirit uh, in spirit. So you, you have to respect, in a sensible way, what's around us spiritually, you know, whether, whatever it is, you know, ghost or whatever, you know, we have to have respect, respect one another in, in some kind of way in which uh, we can all live within the same, uh, should I say, space in some, but spiritually, we also have to be careful that uh, we don't want to get any negative attachments from when we go investigate or uh, like when I go out there by myself, you know, uh, I'm putting myself on the line uh, while I'm investigating uh, these areas. If what people don't understand is when I go out there, I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things, and I know they're around me because I sense them. So I'm capturing my video, you know, uh, I'm giving up on the trolls, you know, no matter how much evidence I put out there, the trolls, since they don't believe the spiritual aspect out of it, they have nothing positive to say. So I'm giving up on the trolls, you know, what I'm going to, what I'm doing now with trolls to say that they don't see nothing in my pictures or anything. I just block them because I don't got time to be playing games with somebody that most likely is a fake profile, you know. Uh, it probably could be somebody that knows me. 
uh, but if they have a, a fake profile, I would I would respect somebody better if they would talk to me straight up, you know, at least give me a chance to explain myself of what's in the picture or my videos, what I'm trying to do, instead of them creating a fake profile and trying to uh, throw, throw arrows my way because they're not man enough or woman enough to tell me straight up in my face or talk to me like a regular person, you know. Those kind of people right there, that's like somebody living a, a double life, you know. <laughs> me, when I, I go out there, you know, just like I've said in, in my, in, on the show, I, I share my story, uh, my experience of what had happened to me at Elm's Grove, you know. And, you know, I've even offered people to go to that location so they can witness it for themselves. And nobody's taken the offer to go to Elm's Grove, right? So that offer had been open out there for about three years to see who was who was willing to go and check it out for themselves. You know, I'm talking about it was an open invitation to the cryptic community, to the paranormal community, or to whoever. It didn't matter. But there was only like two people that that that, that wanted to go check it out, and I took them during the day, and they took that offer. And it was people that. They're not within really within the, the cryptic community, and it was just some random people that saw the show. Of uh, this was this was a haunting season three episode two. Something is out there. They contacted me because they lived in Central Texas and they want to go check it out. I took them. Uh, the experience of the two parties that I took out there is this: they told me that will not go to that area at night time because there was enough activity in that area during the day. The activity the both witnessed was they stopped moving because they heard movement around them. So they got on their knees on the ground just to see, to hear. And they could hear footsteps as somebody was running around them. Running around them in the woods. Both of the, the parties that I took out there, same thing happened to them. Right. So at least they took the offer respectfully. And me, and my, I'm a type of person that if somebody talks to me with respect, I'll, I'll take them. I, I, don't, I don't care, even though I live probably like 35, uh, 40 minutes away from from Colleen. I went out there and I showed them, you know, but I've had that offer for people within the, the spiritual community, uh, the crypto community. Nobody, nobody's taken it. But at the same time, you have all these fake profiles of these people that probably know who I am. They create fake profiles just to try to throw arrows my way because they're not man enough. Or to talk to me in person, to tell me how they really feel about me. Or they're not man enough to go to that area that I had that open invitation to, which was where I used to live in Elms Grove. So... You know, that's a lot. Of, that's what I, that's a lot of what I get is some people say some, some smart ass comments, but you, they have like one picture and that's it. You know, one picture is like a fake profile. I have one picture and that's it, you know, and I was like, those are the, that's what I give up on. But personally, me, I've been taking a break. Uh, I still have a little tablet there with recordings of things that were said to me when I went out there this past time uh, to investigate, but I haven't put it out there. Like I said, I don't want to leave a spiritual opening of any kind of sort, so I've been taking a break. Um, as I'm taking a break, you know, I do I do see things spiritually that are around that they do appear or come at me and show the presence to me, uh, which is this, this dark, Entity, a dark shadow entity that comes out during the day. You know, it'll come right beside me. So, you know, when I see it coming towards me, I rebuke it in Jesus Christ's name, you know. Uh, but those are the ent entities that are out there that are deceiving a lot of people, you know. They can mimic voices. 
that could uh, manifest into different forms uh, and cause or cause the chaos and havoc. But anyways, uh, let me flip it back around. One more time, y'all. Like I said, this is just a a quick live feed. I got my my dog here in the cage. Uh, his name is Rocky. He, I think he wants to go outside. Uh, I got him there because we have like uh, three of them. But I'm just doing one more quick take at what I have here of the minerals. Yes, sister, it's very scary. Uh, I, like I said, I had to take a break. Uh, you, you see, I have a lot of protection here in the house. Uh, and I've seen a lot of things happening since I've been taking a break around the neighborhood. You know, I've been seeing some activity. Uh, it might be shapeshifter activity or DDN activity. But they're coming around to the, to the neighborhood where I live. You know, I've seen... A big red fox, and I've seen a, a, a gray, what seemed to be like a gray wolf. You know, they broke a, a fence, and they're coming through the fence. Uh, and we've seen them already tw uh, twice within a week in the neighborhood. But, you know, sometimes when they manifest the shapeshifters, skinwalkers, slash demonic beings, they have the ability to shapeshift into these creatures, you know, uh, and, and they'll make the rounds. They'll, they'll make their the presence, whether they come back in that form or in the form of, shadow, of a shadow shadow being. They'll take those forms to come and try to interfere in what you're trying to do. You know, what I'm trying to do is my Tender Love Foundation. You know, that's why I've been taking a break. You haven't seen me make a video, trying to talk to anybody spiritually. You know, like I said, everybody's trying to do their own works. You know, I, I know... Uh, what I just follow my heart, what God leads me to do, and that's what I've been doing, you know. And my heart, you know, uh, is, is, is to say, take a break. But really, when you're a spiritual warrior, you can't take no breaks, you know, because it's a battle that's a daily battle. You know, uh, had a thing that happened across the street from me with a, a lady's daughter. You know, I was praying for her, you know, felt like she was being spiritually attacked. Ambulances were there and all kinds of stuff that was happening. But that's the chaos and havoc that this DDN uh, have when uh, that that they have when um, they they target somebody with a spiritual opening. You know, and that's why I'm taking a break. You know, I don't mind speaking to people that are, are willing to listen, you know, that, that'll give me the, a platform to speak, you know, what I have to say. Uh, but there's so many people that have, that believe in, in different things, and which that's, that's okay, you know. But I'm doing the works, you know. I just, I'm not just, I just don't do the talk, I do the walk, you know. Uh, I have the proof on my videos, short reels, whether they're disembodied voices, where they're something moving within the videos, they're there, you know. My evidence is there, you know. Uh, and... <clears throat> the spiritual contact when I'm out there uh, that they come at me spiritually trying to drain my energy or trying to see if they can find an opening of fear or trying to get me to believe in them you know that could be an opening anything could happen you know which the things that happen when when you start believing in that is possessions or being bonded by them you know this goes to to whoever is thinking that they're they're hunting for a Bigfoot, they're hunting for a Dogman, they're hunting for some kind of cryptid or some kind of unknown species, you know. Well, it's going to it's gonna make continue to make you think it's that because, you know, its, it's main mission is to, to, to get you to believe in, in it. So once you believe in it, then the opening there, it's there for it to spiritually attack you, which means... Attach itself to you and you don't even know you have a spiritual attachment or possible possession in which sometimes people go into the woods and they never come out, you know. You know what, I'm, I'm going to go to the room and speak a little bit more of this or should I just speak here? I'm thinking I'm already here. Uh, let me flip the camera over again. 
But yes, brothers and sisters, uh, that's why I'm taking a break. You know, uh, I was feeling it when I was out there this, this past time around, you know, when I was leaving, it made this, this loud, loud growl, like it was trying to get me to go. Oh, wait one. It was trying to get me to go back in and I went back in because it made a loud growl. Uh, this is my son coming off of work. Uh, but yeah, I had to take a break. Uh, now I've been working out. It's taking time. You know, like I said, I, I got a couple of uh, short words I can create where it's saying help me uh, and other things within the video. But, you know, it's like I'm just taking a break. You know, sometimes when you look at the replays and you're still feeling the energy because it's trapped within the video. So you're feeling the energy of that time frame of when you recorded. You know, a lot of the short reels that I create are off of my live video. Just like I'm making the video right now. When I'm out there, I'm making a video. And that's when they appear, manifest. Uh, they manifest out of nowhere just to, to make the presence known to, to interfere because they know that I'm always trying to send a positive message uh, to everybody about maintaining love, forgiving, uh, believe in the Heavenly Father, call upon the Heavenly Father when uh, you're in a situa spiritual situation uh, to, to rebuke, re rebuke it in Jesus Christ's name, you know. Uh, and they don't like that. Uh, they don't like that I'm sending the message or they don't like that that I'm trying to help out people spiritually. So they target, try to target me or target people that I love, you know. Uh, so then that's when I go into prayer, uh, become kind of a warrior, you know. It's kind of like if they can't get a hold of you, they're going to try to affect somebody around you that you love, you know, and, and that's how it works. You know, uh, somebody could, you know, the, they enter a body because, they, you know, they're many. So they, 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 they enter and try to possess the body to control the members of the body. So, you know, there's a lot of people that are investigators. They get sick. There's some that, that we've lost this past year or this past couple of years that were out there. There were book writers that were, that were, they were, they wrote books of, of their experience. Uh, they make videos, some of them made movies or whatever the case might be, but they're not here no more uh, because uh, they got spiritually attacked by them. They've got bonded in some kind of way spiritually that, that wasn't able to awaken from the bondage, you know, because when you're bonded a certain way, uh, trust me, I've been there. It don't want to let you loose. It don't want to let you go. It don't want you to awaken. It don't want you to, it don't want you to, to forgive. It don't want you to have love in your heart because it wants you to have the opposite. It wants you to have the yang. It wants you to have the yang, the bad hatred, anger, vengeance, fear. It wants you to have all that so it can continue to bond, bond you. But once you break free from that and you forgive, you, you change your anger to love, then you start feeling a whole different feeling, you know, an amazing feeling of being loved, loving, loving, uh, life itself. But the number one is, you know, that when you overcome something like that, that, that there is a higher power watching over us, which is heavenly, Jesus Christ and the heavenly angels. They're around, they exist. They've been around me numerous times and protected me while I was out there investigating when, when I was out there in Elms Grove, when I was surrounded by six of them. And I started saying the deliverance prayer, the Our Father. And I believe the heavenly angels were around me because uh, the six beings that were out there, uh, they're real tall. Uh, I say demonic beings because of the time frame. It was three in the morning. I kept saying the, the Our Father. And 
those six beings that were real tall, they kept on saying, repeating themselves, they kept on saying, the Holy One, the Holy One, the Holy One, you know. You know, uh, so, you know, when I wanted to pray, that's my safe haven, you know, that's my peace, my love. So that's when I'm the strongest, you know. When I'm the strongest spiritually is when I focus in, you know, what some people call the she, but my she is love, right? The love foundation. Uh, that's my safe haven, my, my peace. So it, it could be chaos happening around me, but I focus in that safe haven and everything becomes peaceful and I let the love, the peace radiate out. Once it radiates out, whatever's around me leaves because it'll want no part of that love. You know, uh, it'll want to feel <laughs> that love foundation, the heavenly, the blessings the heavenly father gives you. No, but yeah, I've been taking a break, brothers and sisters. You know, I know I've made a lot of videos and some people are left to, to agree to disagree. Uh, me, I'm just talking about my, I talk all my videos that I've, I've created is because of my experience of what I've been through. So I make those videos just to have their, and I've told my son already, you know, if something were happened to me, you can always find me on Facebook under Spiritual Encrypted Encounters or you can find me on YouTube under Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. You know, if something were happened to me, I left the wisdom and knowledge there for my son or for anybody to be able to fight spiritually against these unseen beings that are around us daily. You know, that's why I create these videos. Not because I'm trying to compete with not anybody, not because of anything in that kind of nature. I'm just doing it because I care about humanity and I know about the unseen spiritual war because I fought it. I've been fighting it for many years and I know what exists within that war. What are the beings that are within there, you know, and they're around us. They're around us daily, you know. It's kind of like when you go into water, right? When you go into water to swim in the ocean, you're not just, it's not just water and sand. You know, there's sharks and other, other fish out there that are hidden in the water. That's one of the reasons I kind of don't go to the ocean and swim because there's sharks out there. Uh, in that nature, imagine around us spiritually, uh, there are things that are around us that are just like the, the water. When I started talking about this, there are things that are around us that are unseen to the naked eye. Just like when you go into the water, you can see the fish, the sharks in the water, in the ocean. There are things that are around us spiritually that are unseen, but they're around us. They're around us spiritually, brother and sisters. So that's the unseen war that I talk about, you know, uh, I could be sitting down and I'll hear, uh, I'll hear a whisper in my ear, somebody say something to me or somebody say, say my name. I think the last video I caught somebody saying my name twice out there, you know, they know who we are. Uh, they know who we are. Uh, they know what we believe in. You know, well, they know we, we have a spiritual opening, you know, they like people with spiritual openings. You know why they like people with spiritual openings? Because they can possess them. They can bond them. You know, there's many people within the cryptic community, within the paranormal community that are spiritual bonded. You know, I see it. That's why I don't see those shows on TV. Uh, what's that guy named? Zach? Always, uh, this crew is always screaming with fear, you know? They, they, they just don't know that every time they scream and they get scared, that's the spiritual opening. They probably have, a, they, they most likely have an attachment on them. You know, so I don't know if they do that for the show, scream all crazy or act like they're possessed because they're trying to get ratings. But that's not good. You know, if they're doing it for the ratings, your health, your spiritual body, your vessel is not worth it. Making a video kind of like when I go out there and investigate, you know, I'm putting my, my, my life on the line because anything, anything can happen out there. You know, uh, I've seen it. I've seen it where people get spiritually, spiritually attacked. I've seen it. Uh, but that, that's why I, I try my best to be a certain way spiritually to my Love Foundation. When I go out there, I prepare before 
during and after. You know, you have to be ready all times to fight spiritually. But there's some people that don't do that, then they have those negative attachments on them that they don't even know. Uh, till they get rid of the negative attachments and take authority over them in the Jesus Christ name, then they'll be free from them. But there's many that are being bonded right now, brothers and sisters. They're being bonded by that. That's why I try my best not to go out there no more. I try my best not to go out there, but when the activity comes around my home, then I have to do something about it. You know, that's that's the only reason sometimes I go out there is because things start happening around my neighborhood because they make the, they're making the presence known outside because they want me to go back out there, you know. Whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, to me, it's, it's like I said, it's part of the spiritual battle, but I'm not going to give them power like that no more. No, I just, I'm just trying to reveal them to y'all, you know. No, it's, it's like somebody can say a story. Like somebody could say, I killed the Bigfoot. Somebody could say, I killed a dog man. But if there's no picture or proof that you have a dead Bigfoot or a dead, uh, dead dog man, then it's just a story, right? It's just a story. Me, on the other hand, I say, hey, when I go out there to make the presence known, they jump in my videos, they call magnetic interference, you know, I hear them when they're around me, so what do I do? I go to my video, to the time frames of when things were happening, and I make short reels all of them because I'm placing my evidence out there. Whether it looks blurry, or it looks like uh, magnetic interference, like if... Uh, there's, you're losing the connection. I place some uh, evidence out there, you know, and I can go to each short reel and then I can I could create a, a reel where they're saying something also because when I capture them, they're saying something also in disembodied voice. So I can create what they're saying, what they're saying in, in the disembodied voice also. So I'm placing my uh, evidence out there, you know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing a pretty good job on that, you know, whether... You know, like I said, some people don't don't want to believe in that. That, that that that's exactly what's out there is because they 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 want they're in the in their mindset. You know, which to me that's a spiritual opening. They want to believe that the Bigfoot, the Dogman, are real, a hundred percent flesh creatures. Of what I witnessed and what I experienced, whether it was in Elms Grove since I was a kid all the way up to now. You know, I've seen them. Uh, there are, to me, to me, there are demonic beings uh, that they, when they manifest into these beastly forms, which is temporarily, like a, they, can, they can manifest like 15, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. If they have enough energy, they can manifest for about a minute or two. But once, once that manifestation breaks, they, they disappear. Uh, they have those abilities, you know, since they're, in demonic of nature, they have those abilities to do that. Uh, that's how, why, how I capture them on my video because they're 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 coming at me, trying to spiritually attack me. But I, 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 I'm afraid. I have my protection around me. I have my faith, my love. So as they're trying to to come at me to attack my body, they they can't. So they stop near nearby me because they can't enter my space because I don't, I'm not giving them the spiritual openings. So they flee. So, but I'm, ca I'm able to capture them that way on, on video, but you see how fast they move. The what the videos that you've seen, I, I have to short, I have to slow the speed just so you could able to see, see them. But if, if there were full speed, it will be a good, a second, second and a half. That's how fast they move. That you, especially in the blink of an eye, that you wouldn't be able to see them. But, you know, I'm just trying my best for the member series spiritual, spiritual encrypted encounters. This is where my journey takes me right now. I'm doing the spiritual works. Like I said, and I know there's some people that might dislike my works because I bring the spiritual aspect out of it. You know, I talk about this, the disembodied demonic Nephilim. Uh, that's okay, you know. They can... You know, there's going to be people that are going to like you. There's people going to that's going to hate you. But so long I'm doing the works, 
that God tells me to do. Uh, that's all that matters to me. You know, and, I, and I'm going to continue to do the works when the right time comes, you know. Uh, but I was just making this quick video. It went from me just showing my, my minerals to, 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 to speaking. But I'm going to show my minerals one more time before I go. That's my, my, my displays here. I got some wands right there. There's one of the displays. There's a second display. Another display. I got minerals there. I got minerals in the garage. Uh, but yes, brothers and sisters, I have so many stories that I can share with y'all. Uh, for those who want to hear to the, those stories that I have to say, maybe one day if I get on the right platform, I'll be able to share a lot more of the wisdom and knowledge that I have. You know, I keep it to, my, uh, to a minimum here on, on uh, not just spiritual or cryptic encounters, but I keep it to a minimum because you don't want to go too heavy on somebody spiritually because they wouldn't understand especially if they haven't found their way spiritually, you know, they wouldn't understand what you're talking about. Just like they wouldn't understand when you're showing a picture, uh, what's within the picture. They wouldn't be able to see it if they have a spiritual bonded. Uh, if they're being bonded spiritually, their senses are being bonded, they wouldn't be able to see it. But anyways, everybody have a beautiful Blessed evening. Thank you all for joining me here on Spiritual Encrypted Encounters. And if uh, maybe one day uh, I'll start getting better at making videos instead of just popping up, I might uh, set up something like if I'm going to have somebody talking with me or something, set it up where I'm able to place it out here on Spiritual Encrypted Encounters for a couple of days before I make the video. But anyways... Love, light, and blessings to every single one of y'all. Peace.